What is your initial response when we report that the Wagner mercenary group boss Prigozhin has been killed in a plane crash in Russia? Well, let me start up the verse of the most and all of the details that need to be filled in. But actually, it's difficult to be surprised, and a lot of people won't be surprised. Putin is on record as saying that the one thing that he never forgives is treason. And you remember that Prigozhin's revolt, how many weeks ago it was, um, and Putin came on television and basically killed it by saying this is an act of treason and mutiny and must be stopped. That kind of pointed towards Prigozhin arriving at an ugly exit sooner or later. In terms of uh, why that was inevitable, uh, it seemed that the situation had somewhat calmed. He had left Russia. Indeed, he seemingly had released this video a couple of days ago from Africa. He had spent time in Belarus. Uh, why, why hadn't it been calmed to the extent that he could have been left alone? Well, my, um, this is very often tough. I've only just heard myself. Course, yeah. My instinctive reaction is that Putin is a very cautious man. Um, he doesn't know how much support there was for Prigozhin's revolt. He needed to make sure that he had his forces in the right place in order. Another big thing that's happened today, literally, is that one of Prigozhin's near supporters, leading general called Surovikin, has also lost his job or one of his jobs. Um, it looks as if Putin has taken his time, worked out where his forces are, and is now acting. The mutiny was in June, the attempted mutiny that was curtailed. Is there a risk now of escalation among the mercenary group uh, in response to whatever has happened here, but certainly the death of Yevgeny Prigozhin? Well, I think there are a lot of resentment and so on, but I don't think Putin would have done this if he did it, and we have no proof yet, uh, without being pretty confident that he has the forces in place to deal with any reaction from Wagner or any other organisation which might feel challenged by Prigozhin's death. So, in effect, this ends any risk to Putin. Is that the idea here? Well, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Um, the fact that Putin, that Prigozhin rose in the way that he did is evidence of a lot of dissatisfaction um, mm. in what are called milli-blogger circles in, in, in Russia more widely at the way the war has gone. And I suspect that dissatisfaction is still lurking there under the surface. On the other hand, it, it is fair to say that for the moment, the war is going reasonably well from Russia's point of view. Uh, Ukraine's great counteroffensive seems to be bogged down. Now, that may not be, turn out to be the case, but that's how it looks. And if the war is going reasonably well, then the anger, which Prigozhin very much spoke for and represented, will also be, be less than it would have been if, if the war had been going as badly as it was uh, a few months ago. Mm. Can you, from a diplomatic viewpoint, Sir Tony, can you consider for us how other nations should respond to this, uh, the death of Yevgeny uh, Prigozhin, as is being reported this evening? Well, I mean, there's no need for any, any formal response, but a lot of people will be saying, look at the way that Russia works. And the Ukrainians in particular will be saying, look at the way that Russia works. We need your help to make sure we're not supported to this, subordinated to this beastly state. And is, so what does that mean in, in reality, in practical terms? Is it about condemning Russia only with words? Uh, yeah, no, no. What, what it means, you, you're not talking about uh, formal diplomatic notes. I mean, this is, sure. that, there may be a little bit of that, but that, that's sort of basically surface phenomena. What the argument the Ukrainians will use with some validity is look at what Russia is. You have been helping us so far, but rather, to, rather more slowly than we would like and in a rather more constrained way than we would like to defend our, uh, our, our independence. This sort of thing demonstrates that it is in your interest to help us faster and as much as you can. Mm, that's really interesting. Really, really interesting. Uh, and so we started our conversation, Sir Tony, with you saying it's difficult to be surprised. Um, in terms of what happens from here on out, I suppose we we must await further information, further confirmation um, of the Wagner boss's death. He was listed as a passenger on board this plane that has crashed. Uh, I'm just wondering how Putin responds publicly, if indeed he will respond publicly at all. What would you anticipate on that front? I would guess that he will maintain a pretty low profile mm. um, because whatever he says, people will, will, will believe that he somehow was responsible for it. And there various other murders going back quite a long way with links to Putin or people around Putin, on which, on the whole, he has kept quiet. What he may do, actually, 
and what, what he did has done did in the case of um, Boris Nemtsov, for example, an opposition figure who was killed very close to the Kremlin. What he may do is launch an investigation, which, in, in the circumstances of Prigozhin, would actually almost certainly be a meaningless cover-up. But nevertheless, there may be something of that sort that he does to placate the people who who, uh, who have supported Putin, who are in Wagner. And Wagner, from Putin's point of view, is a, is a useful organisation. He will want to hold on to it if he can, uh, and that means that somehow uh, retaining the support of the people who are in it. Mm. It's an interesting thought. Uh, so, Tony Brenton, thank you very much. Thank you for speaking with us. I appreciate it's a, a snap reaction to some breaking news, so we're grateful for your time. Yes. Let me just warn you, I mean, all of this could be completely wrong. This is, a, this is off the cuff, but yeah. for what it's worth, you've got it. Well, no, absolutely, and it's worth <laughs> a lot coming from you, and we appreciate that, absolutely, and it's a helpful disclaimer.